Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about accessing the controls of one form from another form or transferring the control of one form to another form. So let's start. So I have created this project in which I have this form 1. So I'll quickly create another form here. So I'll right click on this add and new item. And I will name this uh, form 2 which is already so I'll add this now it is added so I'll uh, resize this a bit I'll make this small now it looks okay I'll go to form 1 and uh, oh, I'll go to its design the designer and now I'll drag in some controls here so I'll drag in a button and then uh, I will uh, drag in uh, a text box so I'll search here uh, this one I'll increase its size and now I'll drag in another, another button So with this button, I'll show the um, new form. I'll go here to the properties and I'll change the text. And the text will be uh, show second form. And now I'll click here and uh, I'll expand it a bit so that uh, all the text is visible now I'll double click on this to create this click event and now here I'll use form 2 uh, form 2 I'll use form 2 equals new form 2 and uh, I'll put semicolon here and form 2 dot show and I'll put semicolon here now I'll create an instance of this class here so public static form 1 form one instance semicolon and now here I'll use uh, form one one instance equals this semicolon now I will go to form two this is form 1 and I'll go to form 2 and here I'll go to toolbox and add in a button and a label now on this button I'll text, uh, change the text to change the text box on form one now I'll expand it a bit so that all text is visible I'll take it to the center now I'll double click on this and uh, here I'll uh, 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 access the form one instance so form one dot form one instance dot uh, text box one but we can't access it here because we have to create here text box public text box t 
dbx semicolon and now I'll use dbx equals text box one semicolon now we can access it in form two so I'll go to design and double click on this to go to button so I'll use uh, form one instance dot tbx dot text equal to hello from form two now I'll uh, put semicolon here and now if I run this now the application is running so if I click on this form 2 will be shown and now if I drag this form to a side to this side and now if I click on this button now you can see that the text is added into this text box now I want to change the this label with this button click so for that uh, I will close this this as well and I'll go to form 2 and uh, I'll go to form2.cs and here I'll create an instance of form 2 so I'll use public uh, static um, form 2 and uh, instance semicolon and now here we will uh, use uh, instance equal to this semicolon now we have to cre create label here label lbl semicolon okay now here we will use lbl equals label one now this uh, this is showing an error if you hover over it so it is saying cannot implicitly convert window form uh, app dot form two to window form app dot form one because we have named this uh, form uh, one so this is form two and now I'll put semicolon here so now we are good to go so I'll go to form one design and here I will change the text on this button to change label on uh, form 2 and now I'll expand this button a bit I'll double click on this and now here we will use uh, text box uh, 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 form 2 to dot um, instance dot lbl dot text equals to uh, form text box one dot text now I'll put semicolon here and now if I run this application now the application is running if I uh, enter something here hello form form one and now if I uh, first show this and now I drag this to a side here and now if I click on this button now you can see hello from from one this label is changed and now if I click on this button now you can see hello from from two this text is changed so that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you